Right, so go back to another league race this time with TTML for round number. Uh, I don't even know what round this is, to be honest. But we're back in we're in Austria um, now. In the build up to this, I wasn't. I put my name down as a reserve, as I have been for all this season basically so far. And literally about ten minutes before the race actually started, did I actually get confirmation I was racing? I don't know any practice, anything of the sort. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm very much on the back foot here, especially at a, a track like Austria, where uh, traction zones don't really play into my strength. So, uh, quickly put the setup on, a bit of an adjusted setup from um, from Scuba and the boys. So, uh, th which we've all three seven wings, which was interesting to me because I'd run three five. I actually had felt very comfortable with it at my uh, Austria set, but I felt just to lean on the experience. Um, and trust those and trust that setup basically like if enough of them are using it then excuse me i feel comfortable enough that that is going to be uh the one that works out the best so um it actually ended up being pretty decent in the end but we'll talk about that, about that more in a little bit but uh, i did as many runs on mediums as i could um just to get some track time any track time um i feel like i put in the i i try pushed very hard on this lap at 3.6 and I only saw them through up to P17. I was like, ooh, ooh, this could be bad. This could be really, really bad today. So um, I was like, ooh, we could be, this could be a very long one indeed. So anyways, but anyways, I went down at the end and you see we're up again on our time about just coming up to about just over a tenth and three quarters, basically. Made up a lot of time in these last two corners. Good entry here. Maybe could have taken a bit more curb there. Um, but a good entry here. Enough of that sausage curve and it made up a bunch of time there at the end. Now, it was very tight, as it usually is around Austria. Um, but I did manage to get up into P14, so that wasn't too bad. I'm also running in the Haas, by the way, and I had last minute put together my helmet that I used in the Alpha Tari for TTML Sprint League. So, six tenths off a of pole position is between 1st and 14th, so it that shows you how tight it is. But, uh, yeah, it could be, could be that tight in the race as well. So, heading into the race, speaking of, um, starting outside the top 10, I was told that medium soft can work. And I'm seeing it here in front of me. Um, so, I want to start on the mediums, though. I want to start on the mediums and then go to the softs. So, that's what we're going to try and do. Put lots of fuel in the car. This place actually doesn't use up as much fuel as I originally thought. But, uh, yeah, here we go then. This should be a fun be a fun fun race here we go 36 laps very little practice none actually five red lights and away we go it's actually a very good launch i could immediately jump hero joking um i didn't even use overtake for a lot of it and i was still right there um got pent up by that racing point on the inside there and that allowed yeah kieran trap to go through there so he went up from like 17th or something to 14th immediately so yeah, he was, uh, he, yeah, I just trying to avoid basically just early on the brakes. Uh, Hero Joker was later than I was and just very cautious through here. So ended up losing a position then in the end to Hero Joker. And so we had actually got a decent start, but uh, kind of fell away between turn one and uh, turn three. Uh, Langfell's going to try for a move here, but uh, he breaks early. Um, I went in a little deeper than I would have wanted, but uh, thankfully he was able to slow down in time. And uh keep Langfell behind again just want to hang around the outside see if anything's doing but uh eventually, eventually we slot into p16 so not a bad start but uh, on mediums you know we'll see what happens um it's gonna be a long one uh lap number three see here joking and kieran trap they're going side by side um just kind of sit settling in Langfell's already got a penalty um drs i'm gonna try go for a move here on hero joke and doors open in the inside but uh yeah, nothing really doing. We're close. Like, we are very close, but no contact. And uh, he, Hero Joke keeps that position for uh, for the time being. So, um, yeah, not much to really say at that point. Uh, heading on now to lap number seven. Um, this is where a few things change. There it goes, two cars there. Um, it's like they're stuck together, like like flipping um, those bugs. Is that, are they love bugs? That's how that looked like, basically. So... That's two positions though, and we're up into 10th place between people serving drive throughs and the early pit stops. Um, Kieran Trapp and Hero joking. So this was the next key to my race here. Kind of, you can see on the map, pack kind of is a little, is broken free a little bit, but Hero joking is quick. 
And what happened in this next phase of the race was he pulled me and Kieran Trapp along very nicely in this stint. And he's on mediums too. So lap 11, lap 12. Uh, other people coming into the pits from their softs and the such. We're being pulled along very nicely. We're actually catching. You know, we're, we're being pulled along. And here Jokin's catching that group in front. So this is a really good spot that we're in right now. He's not within DRS of those guys. But we're pulling in, being pulled in nicely. Lap 14, uh, Kieran decides that he can't get to lap 20 or so on those mediums. So he decided to bolt in and say, come in early, commit to the hards. So now I'm left with a car's gap, like a bit of a, a car's gap basically between myself and uh, Hero Joking after that. So thankfully, I was able to stay within DRS and keep within DRS. And I was able to tail Hero Joking myself for the rest of the stint basically. So that was really important. That was really big. Uh, DRS is so with three DRS zones here so so important to have it at lap 20 see we're getting 60% on the tyre wear you can see on the indicator on the bottom right a little yellow marker um, here comes Langfeld though on his hards they have switched to him now I'm using a bit more ERS than I would have wanted to uh, leaving the space on the inside I thought I got a good enough run on traction uh, to try and drag him but he's committing as I'm as am I uh, he's committing even more so. I eventually got off the ERS there to try and preserve something. I didn't want to spend it all before I went into the pits. Maybe I should have, because you're going to see in the sec well, maybe why I should have. But it was Langfellas through on his heart, so he's going a bit further than I am. But Jokin is still out. He's still right there. But now the leaders behind me who have pitted onto their hearts are here. So here comes Auto Gear Nolan. I uh, really just want to minimize the amount of time lost. So he, I'm happy, more than happy for him to go through there. That's perfect. He'll just slot in. Uh, Hero Joken comes into the pits. So he, they're more than happy for that move to happen. Um, I lost no time at all. So I'm able to go about my business. I've still got DRS. So yeah, that's where we uh, stand with that. So very happy with that. Uh, lap 21 here is lap 22. I decided to extend one more lap uh, onto lap 22. So here comes Old School, uh, which is Mark. So he's going to go through. Again, I lose no time, basically. Can use a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of... Uh, actually I actually have no DRS. But that's fine, you know, because then Funky Chicken will go by in a straight line as well. Again, I lose nothing, you know, in terms of time. So that's great. Um, now, there is a bit of a gap. Obviously, there's two cars now between myself and uh, Langfell and obviously Hero Joke, and there's three cars. But again, that's okay. You know, that's that's fine. Lap 22, nice gap behind me to Steph. Uh, so we're going to come into the pits. Um... Excuse me. So, yeah. I got, what did I get to tyres in the end? What was it? 76? It was pretty borderline. So, 74 front left there. So, that's not too bad. Um, if I was starting on a qualifying set, that would have been a problem. But, thankfully, we can uh, go through. So, here, Joker sets the fast lap of the race. Uh, he's on softs. We come out in P13. You can see the big gaggle of cars in front. Some are on softs. Some are on mediums. Sorry, some are on hard. Some are on softs. So, that's where we stand. So, I've got a bit of catching up to do, but you can see the penalties. There's lots of penalties floating around. And I have one warning at this stage, I think. So uh, there goes David. He goes into the pits. And simply Superman is going to be left a little bit vulnerable here in the uh, in a straight. He's got no DRS. I'm going to use overtake and ERS. Sorry, DRS and overtake. Um, but going back to Langfeld, um, as he just emerges there, um, I could have maybe used a bit more ERS uh when I, he was coming by, because I actually think I had full ERS basically by the time I pitched. So, but that's fine, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna hope he's got a penalty, so hopefully, he's gonna allow him to pull me along. Lap 28, so eventually, like, look at all this traffic, look at all those chickens. Um, <laughs> so first up is CVG. Uh, I it was tough to try and it's tough, it, you have the pace, you know, I have the pace, but I don't have the track position. So, there's a lot of cars, look, you can see even briefly three oh, wide up there. So there's a lot to kind of fight through and get through. So even though you have the pace, everyone's got DRS in front, so it's not straightforward. But here we go then. Go go for a late move on Stevie G. Door was left open. I've got the tires, and I am through. So that was a big move there. And obviously Stevie G's got, I've got a lot of respect for. So um, I, was ho I was counting on the fact he wouldn't fight a losing battle too hard. So thankfully he didn't. Um, so I appreciate him there. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, Kieran Trapp originally let, tried to let me go on turn one, but it wasn't close enough. So um, eventually got him there, but he, I'm bringing Stevie G with me. Um, almost came back across into his line. You see, he's still right there because he's trying to defend at the same time. I completely understand this. So um, eventually sneaked through by using a lot more ERS than I would have wanted to at this, at, you know, for that move. So, but 
obviously important to try and pull him along as well. So um, lap 31 and lap 32. Basically, this is where my race was at. There's F1 AMG and Jan in front. I do believe if I had if I was one on one against these guys, I would have beaten them. But because they have DRS on each other, basically, um, you know, I, I couldn't do anything. Like, I just couldn't do anything at this stage. So lap 34, this may have been my best opportunity to do something, heading up towards turn three here. Not coming in, but because they're quite early in the brakes there. But see, I'm close, but I got a bit of a snap of oversteer there. And that, I think that may have been my one chance to try and mix it up with those two. Uh, so... And that even then, that's a half chance. So I kind of, you know, couldn't really do a ton much, uh, ton much else there. But uh, last lap, uh, lap thirty six, it's been a very, very odd race. Very not even odd. A very, it was a very quick race. No safety cars, no VSCs. Um, very quick race, but like being pulled within that DRS that whole time basically was huge. And then soft tires helped me uh, cover some ground in stint too. But there you go. It's gonna be P seven in the end. So P five was right there in front of me, but. Uh, I was happy to make up some spots regardless. So P4, from P14 to P7, with no practice, I think, you know, I think that was a very, very good result. A very good drive. Um, and I, I, no, I'm still trying to prove myself. I don't have to prove myself to anyone, but I'm, pr I'm, pr I'm showing to these guys that I am legit. Like, my race craft is legit. My consistency is legit. And you have to take me into account. So... Because these guys are still, like, I'm just waiting for a full-time seat. Um, and these guys are learning more about me, and I'm learning more about them. So, um, yeah, encouraging that I could do that. Uh, again, always helps add track where I've got. Even, look, even if I hadn't uh, hadn't got pens, I still would have been in the top 10. So, you know, I'm showing that I've got some okay speed in this division. And then add to that the consistency. And, uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what I could do in this division. I think... I can maybe grab a podium on the right day. On any day, I can grab a podium in the right circumstances because I'm just, nice. uh, you know, I have a, uh, I have a ten uh, tendency to avoid trouble usually. So uh, yeah, but that was a good race. I, that was fun. It was quick. And it was fun. So that's going to do it for next. Uh, that's going to do it for round whatever this is of uh, TTML Division Three. Uh, again, as a reserve, I still have not got a full time seat, so I'm not guaranteed any race action next week. So uh, whatever the track is, I think it's Silverstone. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. If I'm there, I'm there. Uh, if I'm not, I'll just have to wait until my time, my time comes. But yeah, thanks very much for watching and until next time.